Well, hello and welcome to Geo Snippets. I'm Head Hired Head. In the next few minutes, we're going to give you some interesting information and tidbits about the game, the sport, yes, the obsession, known as geocaching. And in today's episode, we're going to Holly, Michigan at the Holly Recreation Area in Wildwood Lakes. I'm bringing along my two brothers, Scott and Dave, and my nephews, Zachary, Aaron, and Noah, and we're going to check out the trails and find some geocaches and take you along for the ride. Let's get out there now. One of the things that's always important, we're about to go into an extremely wooded area. Uh, you always want to, when you have your GPS, mark where your car is, and then also remember to turn on tracking. Those electronic breadcrumbs will get you back every time, and you won't get lost in the woods, because it is possible to get lost in the woods with a GPS. Mark your car. Turn on tracking. Rule number one. Always remember to bring the basics with you when you go geocaching. Like this list, for example. Well, we're at our first geocache on the trails. This is what is considered a traditional pile of sticks. This is one of the things that geocachers look for. See this nice pattern of everything kind of nicely put together? Let's see what we have. Number one rule of geocaching, poke it with a stick. And this is what I mean. We're in an area where there is the Massasauga Rattler. Uh, they're usually very timid as far as overall, but they could be lounging anywhere. Always poke the area first with a stick and even move some of the stuff out of the way. Aha! Move some of the stuff out of the way just in case because sometimes snakes like to hide around where the geocache itself is and you can get bit. There's the geocache for our first find. Very cool. Don't look at the camera. Don't look, Don't look at Don't the camera. Alright, did you find it? No. Keep okay. looking. I found it. Alright. Good job. Stay with him. Oh, somebody looks up. Heck will like it. Ugh. Interesting. They have a stick going through it, so you go take it out. Yeah. Yay. Remember when you're geocaching with the family that the kids love to trade swag. You might want to remember to bring that extra swag bag with you so the kids do have something to trade with when they find the larger geocaches. Okay. Blog. Everybody Blog. signs it. I got the pen. This one has a pen in it. I know a Pokemon card. Yeah, cool. Well, probably the person straight here. Oh yeah. Get a close up of it. Okay. Ooh. Ah. Uh. Sorry, just the log. Okay. No. Don't look at the camera! Don't look at Don't the camera! Look at the camera. <laughs> You're ruining my magic! Yeah. Is that on? <laughs> God. It is extremely important to be a good example and a mentor to young children when out geocaching. It's good to teach them that you're in nature. You're out in the woods, you're out on the trails, you're out wherever you're geocaching, but you're in somebody else's home. You're in somebody else's backyard, and those animals and creatures out there were there first. You are to respect those animals and creatures just as if you were in somebody else's house. Poke it with a stick. Found it. There you go. Poke it with a stick. There Make sure there's nothing behind it. Use 
I want to thank my brothers Scott and Dave and my nephews Zachary, Aaron, and Noah for coming along with me today. I also want to give a special note to Scott. We gave him a lot of ribbing when we were out there. He did all the filming for that day and he went into a lot of places he just doesn't normally like to go to. So thanks Scott for all the help that you did. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's episode and come back real soon. Well, you'll get even more interesting information and tidbits about the game, the sport, yes, the obsession known as geocaching. This is Head Hard Hat saying we hope to see you out on the trails real soon. Bye-bye, folks.